has my pocket on, son. Three dicks, three holes. Come on over, Valerie. <laughs> Why is everyone whistling? Ooh. Oh my god, that's such a nice car. What do you do for a living? You're a top lad. So sorry, man. <laughs> Hello, it's that time again where we're gonna go around the shop and get stuff for Leeds Fest. We're gonna try and keep it a bit fresh because it's literally the same shit every year, but you keep loving it. First, a few things to know. Piccadilly DJ set. Be there, be square. We're doing it on the Thursday, Thursday the 24th, 5th, 6th. There's also a Facebook group that you should join because it's where everyone is selling the Leeds Fest tickets thanks to Bridey telling everyone that that's where to get them from. Yeah. So jump in the page, I've made a thread and you can buy your Leeds tickets in there let's go and do page. shop <laughs> here that over that here <laughs> shut up i had a deke on that page the other day and it's literally just everybody selling tickets to each other like there's no fun on that it was nice when there was a bit of like fun. um like controversy going maybe on maybe you so should pop in and see who wants to buy those <laughs> shoes <Somebody>. <laughs> <laughs> what about these <laughs> the air max 90s are the best air max it's make it's like it's like make a wish here Razzy looks so uncomfortable with that arm around him <laughs> sensible. Oh, I hurt my... me and dan are sharing trolleys so, a big part of our festival is alcohol. And That's man, why we're stood here at the crisps, <laughs> to tell you about the new Doritos. So, crisps are also important, but we'll come to them in the food section. A man that can't handle his alcohol is Jake Varley, and he's going to tell you about the different types of alcohol to take to a festival. Aren't you? I know. Oh, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> That's our friend. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> I'm not going to trust you for the rest of the day now. Yeah, let me talk about dark fruits. Strongbow dark fruits is my drink of choice. I'm, I'm watching you, and I've got a coffee in my hand, all right? Yeah, me too. Cheers, Cheers brother. Bros. So, dark fruits, the reason I like that is literally on the floor, baby. <laughs> Come on, show some respect. The reason I like dark fruits is because you, you can just drink it, and you don't really, you're not really aware that you're drinking. It's not like a beer where you think, oh, I've had one beer. This is my third beer. You have that unconscious... Are you all right, mate? We are going to show you some essentials, aren't we, Jake? We are going to show you essentials. And I know what you're thinking. You show us essentials all the time. You go to Tesco's, you get your booze. But we're going to show you some extra stuff that you're probably going to need. This is stuff that you will need. That It's not food. It's not drink. It's essentials. You'll probably die without this shit, maybe. Fucking lamppost. <laughs> so, There's a fucking lamppost, didn't we? That's where we're going. Not go outdoors as well. Yeah. Fuck go outdoors. Because they won't have us. Because you don't, So just remember, don't buy anything from go outdoors. Go, go fuck to yourself. Decathlon. There's some lovely tents here. Look at this one. Look at this nice big Let's have a look inside. It's very similar to the tent I had at download this year. What, you mean far too big? Do you know what? I admit, it was far too big. That's why I'm actually retiring that tent this year and going for something a little bit smaller, which we'll show you in a bit. Being a guy that knows a lot, of, a lot about alcohol, yeah, so let me talk you through things. So, if you go to a festival, there's different types of drinkers out there. There's the, there's the beer drinkers that like to get a session on beer, so they might go for a crate or something. You know, they might even go for what, something fancy, maybe like Ben Phillips, they might go for a uh, American IPA or a Brixton Brewery. You know, there's those type of people. For us, it's Budweiser. They're all shit. They are, do you know what? He's right, they are all shit. Oh, there's the people that kind of like something a bit different, they kind of like the spirits, you know, like myself. So for example, I might be looking at some, some nice rooms. The Dead Man's Fingers, lovely set of rooms. Uh, I also like Kraken, so I'm probably gonna go for a Kraken. Jake, I, th I think here. this is more your kind of room. I mean, it is a nice room. Thank you for, uh, yep. thank, thank you for it. Oh, that's so, what I said. Uh, Mount Gate, it's uh, Barbados room, 1703. You know, great year for room. You know, just go for whatever you feel. Just remember that there's no glass allowed and you've got to be able to carry it at the end of the day. Don't overstrain yourself because at the end of the day, you can buy booze there. You look lost, Raz. <laughs> I'll tell you what, here's something. When did they stop doing that Disarano Sours mix? I've been looking for it fucking all over. Ever since I found out you started watering <laughs> it down. <laughs> but where did they sell it anymore? It was really nice. Where was it? Was it literally fucking everywhere was and it? now nowhere. So if anyone knows where I can fucking get some, please DM me and I'll ignore you. What's good about it as well, if you, if you get some dark fruits or any form of strongbow from this section, you get a free limited edition ice bucket. And the good thing about this is you're definitely not going to use it as an ice bucket at a festival. What you can use it for is, say it's night time and your phone's dead and you're like, you're a bit pissed and you need to go for a piss, but you're like, oh, I can't see anything. Just, and just piss in your tent. 
and most of it will go in there because you've got a wider thing than just like a bottle or something. The little man be drinking a strong <laughs> more than that. But the big man comes straight over to the JD number seven. Well, I've seen you drink JD with me on NC500 and yeah, you were making so. some questionable faces when you were swallowing the Jack Daniels. That's because that was some different flavours and that, man. I'm all for this though, yeah. yeah. And here we go. This is the real connoisseur. Covossia. Covossia. Covo <coughs> Covossia. Covossia, that's sort of roughly the same price as JD anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although the big tents are good, you don't want one of these. You see that tube? That means it's inflatable. Fantastic tent, don't get me wrong, but you don't want it at a festival because some knobbit will come around and pop it or like set it on fire or some shit because they're assholes at Leeds Festival. Especially at Leeds Festival, yeah. Absolutely at Leeds Festival. As much as I love the place, it's full of cunts like you watching this and I know you fucking do it. Bastards. But yeah, don't get inflatable. Go fun with poles and you'll probably not get your tent flattened on you. Guinea, I'm a man that can down. 10 guineas in a night, no problem. That's true. And still make the Nupsy hype. The night of Nupsy hype, he had his first guineas and then his next nine. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great night. It was an full, amazing night. I was my best friends. Yeah. Do you remember that night, Dan? Oh, you're filming. Not three million. But my investments have made more than me today, actually. <laughs> I'm about that passive income. Is that how you got this coat then? Yeah. Is that lambskin? What about that lovely stain on your shirt? Oh, <laughs> no, you may not mind to that. Rusty. Coffee in hand. Now, this. It is a nice tent, however it is a little bit too small. The line of it isn't very good. So I probably would recommend not taking this one to the express, even though it does have a very attractive guide price of £44. Pounds. I'm not going to go through it, I've told you before, but it is the best tent. It's a bit big, but it's got this strap. Do that and you're off, aren't you? Take me to a festival, mate. Take me to a fucking festival. Where are they? Can't forget the most important thing. But alcohol, because you can get alcohol there if you really want it. But this, this you can only get here. All right, Jake's mum's house. Bit of bacon. I don't get that reference. I don't get that reference. My mum makes bacon sandwiches on a Sunday. Is that the reference? Yeah. Why have you not told people what you're buying? People need to know what you're buying. Sorry. Ice. Good. <laughs> Thanks. Hang on a minute. So fucking nice. <laughs> Hiya, coming in. Uh, some people like to take too much to a festival. Uh, don't do it. People take tables, they take these fucking cabin. <laughs> I don't know. It does look like a cabinet. Yeah. If you've got a tent like this to put it in, fine, do what you want. But if you don't, if you've got a little tent, don't bring this shit. You're never going to fucking use it. No one ever has a table out on a, a wobbly field. That's a, a wrong angle and shit. So. Just save your tent trip. Just use your crates and just stack yeah. it up on there. Or just fuck off. <laughs> well, my nose, it literally isn't even that big. No, it literally his... isn't well, even that big. Just like his chin. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> oh, nice little diddy chin leafy. <laughs> <laughs> so as you've got to remember, when you go to a festival, you can't have any glass. So that's why you need to decanter your uh, booze into plastic bottles. And if you're bougie as fuck like me, you're going to go for a San Pellegrino bottle because it just makes you look a bit cooler. And you could put different types of booze in there oh, and then you go oh i know what what the rum's in it's is in the it? orange lid he's a genius see i learned from the best he's a genius man. i learned from the best i had the best mentor he's a genius, Jake. you two do have the same mental capability with the twisty the cap i think it's about time we started being real on these shopping videos and the san pellegrino just isn't the one anymore thanks to the sugar tax and i'm just calling it tasteful or light it's shit. Sometimes it's alright, but if you think I'm taking like 12 of these to a festival ever again, fuck off, it's not happening. So they actually don't have what we need, but I'm going to use this as a prop. Um, there's a Tropicana called Multivitamin, which is like dark orange, and it's got like a red top, Raz. Yeah. And it, you should get one of them for every morning you're at the festival, because if you're getting old like we are, as you've seen, we're kind of struggling a bit now. A multivitamin drink, and having it in the morning, just convinces you that you're a bit healthier and then you can just kind of crack on with your beer. Also, if you like drinks, the Natural Spring Water Can Company are sending us some more crates, so we're going to give them out at Piccadilly again. Well, I say we. Bridie's going to give them out, probably after he's just done Captain Crease live on the mic, so you better come and see us because it's going to be funny. And there's two kinds of people. There's people who still like the, would you like a Natural Spring Water meme? And they're all right in my eyes, Raz. But then there's people who think they're above it, taking the piss out of people for just enjoying the meme and no, it's cringier. You think it's cringy, people putting natural spring water in a group. Nothing is cringier than you people jumping on their fucking back and having a go at them. It makes us fucking cringe so hard, doesn't it, Raz? Yep. If you know me well, 
I love Converse. I think Converse are great shoes. However, after some market research, I have found out that there is some better shoes to wear, especially at a festival. You know, a festival is all different terrains. That's why I'm going to say it. Vans are probably some of the best shoes to wear, and I'll show you why. Mm. I love the Vans then. <laughs> Here is an example of some different terrain that you might expect at Leeds Festival. Just I've see. never seen that terrain at Leeds Festival. Look, still going up. Look, there's plenty of grip, not falling at all, pretty stable. You can still dance and boogie to uh, Biffy Clyro. Down climb. Look, I could slip, but guess what? I'm not. And I'm still going back up. And there we go, fan shoes. All right, now you're off that shitty fucking rock footwear, bastard bollocks, whatever the fuck you were doing over there because you're a 10 year old boy. Show us some proper footwear for a festival. Well, I hate to say it, but there could be a chance of some weather at Leeds Festival. That weather, being, that weather being rain. If there is, bring wellies. Just get some wellies, you know, get some 43s, green, wellies, these will do the job, these will keep the rain out, because at the end of the day, you don't want to look like one of those idiots walking around with goody bin bags on their feet, like who would do that? Insert Cleesby. If you're a bit on the chubbier side, uh, go for half height boots, because like the full welly will rub the top of your thigh yeah. and it'll just be a nightmare. We you don't, don't need, want, we don't don't need those ones. No, but... I've got dead skinny thighs now, this yeah. fat cunt does so. <laughs> right. What a fat, what a fat bastard. I'm going to get some fucking nuggets mid-shop. Who? Matthew fucking Bryder. Yeah, you don't shop on an empty stomach. Uh, up until he was 22, I reckon his parents were telling him, did you go for a wee? The festival, it's a messy place, full of shit. Uh, tidy your shit up, take some of these. 20 Danny White bin bags, large and strong. It doesn't say dumb as fuck bin bags on there, mate. But it says large and strong. And it says multi-purpose, and you've barely got one. So I'm a wise man. As you can see, I'm a smart man. But I'm also a very wise man. So I've bought myself 20 nuggets to walk around with, because I'm a little bit hungry. I've not eaten all day. You're joking. But I know... The rest of the boys, I want to dip in and have one each, yeah? Yeah. I want the 20. So what I've done is I've bought a 20 box and a 6 box, and I'm going to put them all in the 20 box. And as we walk out, boys are going to go, oh, can I have one of them? And they can have one. It doesn't take out of my 20. As usual, we're having a big meet-up on the Wednesday, like we always do. That's why I said as usual. So just stay in the Facebook group for details, because we're not sure yet if it's going to be officially supported in any capacity, or if it's not. But either way, we're going to do it, so. You carry a lot of stuff. You know, put back and forth the campsite, so you need to make sure you get ready. So I'm just pumping, I'm just pumping some iron. <clears throat> yeah. Easy. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm ready to take all my luggage to the campsite. What was that? Uh, been guessed. Oh, I could sit on this all day. Jake, that looks like it can barely fit a fire on it. Nah, it's lovely, this. You know, I could sit on that all day, but I'm not going to sit on that all day because I'm going to make the most of my festival experience. I'm going to go into the arena, I'm going to experience all the food, all the music, and just have a really good time because I've not been doing anything for the last 16 months. So this one, as you can tell, lovely and big, offers some, what I need at the minute, some nice lumbar support. I do have an issue with it though, two issues. First one, that fucking price. If you're buying a camping chair for that price and bringing it to Leeds Fest, I'm going to piss on it. <laughs> if I see one of these at Leeds Fest. God, those jobs at Leeds Fest, eh? <laughs> And there you go, just oh. like that, we're into your chair and it's <laughs> comfortable, it's so quick and easy. Oh, 20 nugs. 20 nugs, can I have one, bro? Yeah, yeah have one, mate, you have one. Cheers. You want one? Yeah, I'll have one. Right, you're having none. Danny don't half talk a lot about that Quetula tent, and it is good, but if you're on a budget, you can get this one for a tenner. Now, there's a big joke to be made here, but I'm certainly not going to make it, so I'm just going to pop this back. This is almost too convenient, because this is exactly what Razzy wears. He has red. a lot more grease, though. Yeah, we have <laughs> way more grease. He'll be saturated in oils, but um, Razzy likes to rep the blood gang while we're at Leeds. Do the bloods do it this slowly as well? Hang on, do you want me to get the angle so it's right? Blood, oh, yeah, <laughs> what up? Hey, what up, gangster? Fucking swimming in it, mate. This boot's full of bag. Jake, mate. Jake, we're looking for stuff for Leeds Fest, not things you'll never use. Are you still with us, children? Come on. <laughs> Key thing you need, it gets cold at night. And when you've got a crack tent like I take, you're going to want a duvet. Now, 
I always want to go for a 10.5 tug. It gets you nice and warm, but you can also obviously take it off in the morning and it's fine. But I would recommend making your bedding area as comfortable as possible. It's really important because if it's not, you don't get a good night's sleep and then you end up going home like my boy Kelly. Well, he was so upset he didn't have one good night's sleep that when he got home from festival, he went to Argos customer service to try and get a refund for his tent. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a refund and, as well. it, and it worked. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> With the 26 quid he got back, he could buy this coat. Blankets are available. There's all different ones, right? And there's all different styles you can go for. You can get a nice personal one. He's going to interrupt me, so I may as well just invite. Raz, do you have anything to say about the blankets? Put it on top of your airbed. I don't do that. I sleep yeah, but you're on wrong. just the airbed. And I just have the blanket on me. No, That's awful. Do you know what, mate? Because the duvet gets too warm. Kelly sleeps on top of somebody else's airbed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own. I've got. I'm the only man here who owns two tents. Yeah, this is the first year you've owned one. Oh, you dunk. Oh, shut up, Rob. This man. is the first year you've brought a single tent. He's got four tents. I've got four. One's a cheap. Yeah, well. eight man. What's so, yours? One, What's yours? one of them's fucking mine. This, mate. Are you going for the cheap boys? Cheap. Oh, Who's your favourite you know Ninja Turtle, bro? You know I always remember. I used to have that grey North Face t-shirt and I used to get mocked senseless because I used to wear North Face. I was a pioneer, now this man's a copycat. Blankets are a good shout, you should grab them. Get your son a flannel because I've got one right here. Because <laughs> there's going to be a moment where you're going to be extra hungover and you're going to ask a mate just to pour some water over your head and give your face a good old pat down after, make your skin nice and dry and soft again. <clears throat> and let me tell you, nothing will be just taking a flannel. Looking at airbeds. Now, as you've just seen, Dan's got quite a bad back, like. Yeah, it's a bit bad, isn't it? We're, we're getting old now, so we need that nice surface to sleep on. And I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a nice, comfy, comfy bed. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's double, double things, two of them. Double things. Look, you know what I'm trying to say here, but it's got like two levels to it. There's two of them, and there's a thing on top of it. I bet that's quite comfy. Oh yeah, double thinged. There's a thing on top. It's got slats though, Jake. What? It's got slats. Oh, this would be lovely for me. It's just you. Just me. I'm stood on my own in the electronics aisle with these power banks, so not really on my own. These are a tenner. Tenner for 5,000 milliamp hours. That's not the biggest you're gonna get, but you should never pay at the festival to charge your phone. Just grab a couple of them and then you've got them for like three or four years. Mine have only just stopped working this year and I bought them for Leeds 2016. So get yourself them, save some money, be a frugal, smart consumer, and then put the money that you save straight into the Patreon. If you're like Jake or myself, you got a lot of air. You don't want it to get wet if it starts raining. Umbrellas are good, but you're not allowed them in the arena. Jackets are good, but the hood up, I don't know about you, Jake, a hood up pisses me off because my hair starts wandering around, just the front bit gets wet, and it's fucking irritating. It's so, true, it's true. I've taken it for the past three years and luckily never need to use it, but I've got a shower cap, not this one, mine's fucking good, but you just pop it on your barnet, barnet don't get wet, no more rain, take it off, hair's back the exact fucking same it was. I don't understand why people spend all this money on a fucking poncho. 150 for a fucking a shower cap. Think smarter, dickheads. So when you're at a festival, a good thing to pack, obviously, is an extra pair of pants and socks. So always grab yourself a multi-pack as well because you never know, you might have one too many, you might chuck it down, you might deck it in some mud, and you might go, shit, I've either shit myself, decked it in mud, or it's just it's just wet, and I need to change my pants. And you might you might go through three in a day, you never know, so it's best to be prepared. Six and to I, seven year old pack, it, yeah? Yeah, because like, Cheaper, cheaper, it's like kid prices, like shoes. And I would always go for a bit of flair, so I'm gonna go yes. with a big old Minecraft ones, because yes. the ladies- <laughs> Power. Yes, the ladies love it. And you know what? Yes. I'm gonna get the matching socks as well. Oh, yes. So this one here is gorgeous. Look, what they've done is they've used a table. Mm -hmm. So it's dual purpose. So you, you can have something that takes up all your space, as well as not being comfy to sleep on. Wow. Get yourself some PlayStation stompers. <laughs> Still these better are... than them dead crepes, mate. <laughs> the nineties are the nineties are the best Air Max going. Yeah, <laughs> get them on the your 90s. wall, mate. Mounted. Look at them. Brian is <laughs> tell him. Brian has got his PS3 and his PS4 mounted on the wall. <laughs> PS3 with TV. in 2021. Yeah. Why not, mate? And the chair from that thing from game, away. you know, like the, the, game the triangle square X circle thing. I like have. The neon and thing. I've also got the. Um, 
the glow up lamp on the side of my bed as well. <laughs> Ladies. I know we say this all the time and you've probably seen the amount of complaints that, that we that we do give out. But make sure you take some sun cream because you, you're going to have a really bad time if you get sunburned. Because it's not like when you're wet and you just dry off. Sunburn fucks you. So get some Factor 50 or 50 plus. Have you seen that picture in the Facebook group um, of the dispenser that, that's at the festival? Yeah, that's yeah. good, that, that isn't it? That needs to be more of a thing for people like me who burn like fuck. 50. Do you not want to Give me Factor 5 and I'll be sound. 50? That'll, that'll whiten me. That'll make me whiter. Danny White. Oh my god, I heard that crack. Lower back aches, upper back don't. When you're, at, when you're at Leeds Festival, you need to kind of like make sure it, like, your outfit looks good. So I always think it's a nice thing to take some shares because it it is sunny you know, at Leeds. Don't believe but the hype. It is sunny at Leeds and Reading, I guess. So I think it's nice to take some shades. Um, Dan, what are you saying? I always take some shades. <laughs> Quick, so, quick before you do, there's a, a bed for Razzy's mum, yeah? Another dish for you for, for doing that? Yeah, yeah. Literally nothing. Yeah. Cheers for sorting Van out <laughs> and everything else you do. I ain't sorted it out yet. No, yeah, but, you, but you're gonna. Um, so when we... We always used to get like the little like disposable like 20p toothbrushes and shit. But then when I was in Europe this year, I invested in a Xiaomi electric toothbrush. And I know what you're thinking, they're going to hack into my teeth, but my teeth are already hacked to fuck anyway. True. So I've started taking my electric toothbrush to festivals. And let me tell you, it's excellent because a full two minute run of an electric toothbrush on a morning, it really just makes you feel like 10% less cancerous. Um, and just whatever toothpaste Chris is taking, just use that. Because he, <laughs> loves, he loves getting you the water and the toothpaste on a morning after he's just put it back. You're at a festival, you need a poo. No problem. Get yourself, instead of a bin, a couple of totes, and then you can fill them with food on the way there. Put maybe like um, hygiene stuff in here, a couple of drinks and stuff. That's a big one for can my Pringles drinks. Pringles goes in nicely. Yeah, little Pringles. You can pack it in really nice, and then you stack them on top of each other, and then you have a wee shit in them. And put, all your boys always want to come around and get some, don't they, Kelly? No, mate. Uh, I'll, I'll be expecting it. them. If you put cat litter in it, then you can just kick it about and <laughs> oh, you don't have to take it out. What do you have on your head? Fucking beat it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, Jake, I'd love that at Leeds Fest. It'd be great, wouldn't it? But You'd I don't. Like a, a, a Camp Orange um, swing ball tournament. I just don't think we'd be allowed it. I mean, we'd be allowed it because we're rock stars, but fuck everyone, like everyone else. They'd be fucked. But it's like, you know, like Liam Gallagher or something like that. You could like come to Orange Camp and like play a swing ball, it'd be great. Things Liam Gallagher's not doing. Yeah, Liam Gallagher's not invited. He'll be on stage, but everyone else that like, knows that he's a boring cut and come and play swing ball at Orange Camp. In it mental. He's he's on after Biffy. What the right, ladies and gentlemen, what you need to understand is Biffy Clara are the greatest band in the world. And the fact that Liam Gallagher's playing after is a fucking insult to music. It is, it truly is. Uh, yeah, he's, Liam Gallagher may have been the greatest day. like pop yeah. Brit pop bands in the world. Was Jake. Yeah, was. Do you know what? Yeah he was. Biffy Clara are at the peak. And if you don't want to go see them, you're like, who the fuck are Biffy Clara? Why are they there? Go fuck yourself. So we're looking around and we're thinking like, what 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 do I actually take to a festival? Me? the person who you care about most. And to be honest, it's really not that much anymore. I think if you just take a couple hundred quid, you've got enough money to like... Oh, uh, just a couple hundred. Just, uh, just, just, just a couple hundred. Well, know? no, we were saying that back... We were saying, people have lost their jobs. We were probably, saying, we were a saying a couple hundred back in like 2015, <laughs> mate. A couple, a couple hundred quid in your pocket. And you can, you can get food all the time. You can, like, you don't need to cart like a load of snacks. If, you've, if you're hungover enough, then you won't have an appetite in the morning. Just have, just have a meal every day. Yeah. So. When I say a meal, I mean like one of your three meals, like three, three meals a day. Yeah. yeah, I don't really think you need to take too much food. Well, you've been lied to in the past. Rob said he's great at darts. Bridie said he's great at darts, but I'm the real champion at darts. You've never seen me play. That's because I'm too professional. I play in the higher leagues than these two. Do you but, think the reason we've never seen you play because you're showing us a dartboard that's just got holes in it rather than a proper dartboard. Yeah, because these are it's, these are, these are all the holes I've already made. It's a children's dartboard. So that's our shop for this year done. Once again, to recap, Piccadilly on Thursday night. It's going to be sick as fuck. It's going to be our best one yet. We've got some real belters. Even I've been doing some mixing, just like a real DJ does in Final Cut Pro and then bounces the MP3 down and emails them over to Raz. 
meet up on the Wednesday night. Stay tuned in the Facebook group to figure out exactly what's happening there. Message and please be directly. message please be directly if you want to know any further detail. Only if you're over 18. And what else? What was the other thing? If you, yeah, if you want to know some made-up lie that's some spurious <laughs> truth and not true, and we'll get you nowhere, message me. <laughs> The shopping vid is a vid that is weird because you all love it so much, but it's literally just the same every year. But hopefully this one, because this one's been quite enjoyable to do, so hopefully you've enjoyed watching it. I know it might be a bit, I don't know if the tone's a bit different. We all, I always feel like we ain't got enough and then I edit it home, I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. We're geniuses. We are literally, look how cool we are, man. This is the main squad. This is Fuck it. Oi, oi, oi. Fuck, where's that Cleesby, my love? Oh, is that? <laughs> Brilliant. Give us the old uh, one last time. Give us the old rock climbers group. That's we're gonna leave without seeing goodbye. Yeah, yeah, brother. I'll see you later, Cleese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bye, Cleese. Did he say bye to no one? Typical Cleese, be that. That is a typical. What a typical. He didn't even say bye to me. I wonder what he's in a rush for. I, w I wonder. Uh, so for the record, he actually did say bye. <laughs> yeah, we do love him.